The legacy that I want our generation to remember us by is that we didn't just fight for it, that we were the ones who actually made the change happen. Welcome to a very special episode of Play On. We're a group of friends who love to support great causes and have fun doing it. But today, we want to do it a little different. In fact, we couldn't not talk about this. Black Lives Matter has created a lot of awareness in our country and around the world. Racism is a very important topic and it shouldn't be ignored. So today, we're going to use our voice to have a conversation about racism. We hope you all saw the Make News special, Kids Race and Unity. Hopefully our talk will inspire kids to continue these conversations with their friends at school and their families back home. As usual, we won't be doing this alone. Please welcome Naeem Hudson. Hey guys. Oh. <laughs> In case you don't know, Naeem is an amazing motivational speaker. He delivers messages of positivity and we're so super excited to have him here for our conversation. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, this is a hard conversation to have about the Black Lives Matter movement. You know, a lot of people avoid this topic because it causes a lot of emotions, frustration, you know, and you don't have to worry about saying things perfectly or, you know, being perfect. Just let's have a raw and uncut conversation. And one way to process all these feelings is through creativity. So you guys all have some markers, some pencils, and some paper, and I want you guys to create art. You know, basically on how this topic inspired you. And I'm going to have another young, talented artist. Her name's Mora. Create a mural of this conversation, how it impacted and inspired her. So once again, thank you guys, and I'm glad we're all here today. So how are all of you guys feeling? I feel like right now my head is in just a lot of different spaces with everything going on. I don't know whether I should feel, you know, good or happy that we're finally, you know, getting our time to stand up or, you know, bad that all this stuff is happening, all the rioting, all the shooting, all the fighting, all the police brutality. We shouldn't feel like we need to hold our emotions in, but at the same time, we need to know where to put them at and when to put them aside. You know, one thing my father you know, teaches me is about emotional intelligence, you know, controlling your emotions and being mature in certain situations. Even when someone says something to you, you know, you let your maturity take place, not your emotions. This moment is probably making me feel kind of sad and also confused because I feel like all of this stuff kind of happened a really long time ago in different ways and that everyone kind of just push it under the rug for a long time, but now it's getting resurfaced and I think it's extra important for everyone to take a stand. I think that we could speak up a bit more and for this to happen has really opened my eyes to the situation and how serious it is and that it needs to be changed. It's a powerful thing to use your voice because you never know how far it could take you. But now another question I have for you as do you feel like you're too young to talk about racism? Some people might feel sensitive about talking it, especially with kids, because some people might think that kids might not understand. If I didn't know what was going on right now, I would just be lost and confused and angry and everything. If at any age you can experience racism and you can see racism, then at any age you should be able to talk about it. You know, there shouldn't be a restriction of, you know what, you're too young to talk about this. You're too young to be seeing this because at one point in your life, you're going to experience it or you're going to go through it. You're going to hear about it. You're going to see it. So why not be experienced enough to know that when this time comes, you don't have to get angry. You don't have to get upset because these things in your life, it's going to happen. You know, it's a sad thing to say, but it's going to happen. What does Black Lives Matter mean to you? We're fighting for our justice and to be equal because we're all just human. We all have flesh and bones. <laughs> we're all just people. First of all, I feel like people misuse the word all lives matter because when they say that all lives matter, they're including black lives. They matter like the most right now because like they almost like need our help. And it's, there's an analogy where it's like there's all these houses and if a house is on fire, of course, all the houses matter, but obviously the house that's on fire, that one matters mm -hmm. most. I agree with that. What does racism mean to you? Racism means that to be mean to someone because of what they look like. Yeah. Everybody's born beautiful. 
as we get older, we're taught things, right? So when you see a person that, that is being racist to someone, that is judging someone, a, a lot of the times it's not necessarily their fault because they weren't born with that mentality. They weren't born with that perspective. It was something that they were taught and that was something that their parents was taught and the, the just generations and generations of that information being passed down. So we need to be the leaders to inspire the next generation to change what's been going on. One thing that my mother always told me was hurt people hurt people, which means that people that have been hurt or have gotten their feelings hurt hurt other people. I do remember one time I got a DM and, you know, I didn't answer, I didn't open nothing like that. They, they texted me and they said, uh, you know what, you're probably not even that special and this, that, and not the third. You don't have to receive what you don't believe. Right, if you don't believe it, don't receive it. When people are being mean to someone, it's usually because they're jealous or they're going through something that's really bad and they need to take it out on someone. So don't let a person's opinion, don't let a person's mindset knock you off your balance. You stay focused. Do kids in your school, right, usually hang, hang around the same ethnicity, meaning hanging around the same people that look like them? Most of my friends are girls, so they have curly hair like me. They may not have the same skin tone as me. Yeah, I've definitely had a bunch of variety of friends that look like me or don't look like me, but I never really have looked at that when I'm like picking out my friends, you know, like anyone's skin color. I just feel that it's on the inside that counts and we're all the same on the inside, so. I feel like for me, it's good to have some friends that look like me so I can have some people who understand what I'm going through and they can talk to me about yeah. if somebody was like, you know, they don't like me because of my skin color, I can, I can relate and help them with that problem. Do the characters in your favorite books and movies look like you? Well, most of the times in the books and the shows that I watch and read are pink and purple because they're cartoons most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> but, that's so true. You know, it's nothing wrong with wanting to see your image on screen. I read a lot of comic books, you know, TV and all that stuff, but a lot of them didn't look like me. Right. Now, nowadays, they're starting to put out more superheroes that do look like me and they share my same skin tone, they share my same hair, and it just makes you feel powerful. Yeah, and then you're like, oh, I can do that, and I can do even more, so. Not necessarily swinging from buildings and, you know. Like <laughs> <laughs> Art is a great way to express how you're feeling. So let's create, guys. So I love art. It's my favorite thing to do. And when I get mad or sad, like right now, I just draw and it makes me feel a lot better. And I remember that last time we made our own shirts and that was, that was about like expressing our feelings on our sleeve. It's a different way to express ourselves with more passion. Thank you all for being so honest and open. As we all go back to friends this school year, let's bring that energy with us. When I go back to friends, I'm definitely going to use what I've learned today. Kids need to step up and make a difference. We are the new generation, so we need to influence the next generation to change all of these bad things that are going on. Yeah, of course all lives matter, but black ones, we're in danger. You see someone who's in need, you know, you give them motivation, you empower them, you give them courage, you give them confidence. That they're heard and that they have purpose. And that you are perfect just the way you are. No matter what you look like, no matter what color you are, no matter what language you speak, you are amazing. I know that a lot of generations, they fight and you know, it could make a little difference, but why can't we be the ones who make the change? If you have a voice, which I believe you do, go ahead and use it. Yo, okay. Thank <laughs> you.